Welcome to Winter on Travels with Bill. It's February 2022, and we're looking at snow. Now, maybe it's hard to get excited with snow if you live in the middle of the snowbanks, but you know when you show this episode to your friends down south, they're going to be amazed. So get on with sharing the link. And I know what you're thinking. Well, how big are those snowbanks, really? It's a bit hard to tell when you're just looking at the snowbank from the camera. Well, let's lift up as high as we can lift our arm up and we still can't see over the snow. The last few years, there hasn't been a lot of snow here, and not a lot was really expected this winter either. There was a drought all summer in this area, so to see the amount of snow now is quite amazing. We're looking at the snowbanks in the Swan River Valley area of Manitoba, and we're coming up on a hydro pole. Now, the pole is still sticking out of the snow, and certainly you couldn't touch the top of it from here, so you wouldn't have to worry too much about that. But how big are these snowbanks? Maybe it wouldn't help if we gave you something for reference. Well, here's the Travels with Bill van parked in the same spot. Now suddenly you can see these are very, very big snowbanks. They're well over the roof of the van. And as you can imagine, a lot of work goes into keeping this road open so that people can travel down it. Now the banks aren't this big on the entire road, but certainly in this part they are. And look at that. Can you imagine trying to get through that? Well, if you're watching from Florida, you know you're kind of amazed, right? And we live like this six months of the year. Okay, maybe it's not six months where the snowbanks are that big, but you get what I mean. See the fence posts there behind the snowbank? We're gonna drive by so you can get another view of just how big these banks are. Now out in the fields, it's not so deep. The reason you get the banks so big is it blows on the road and they move it off. Well, once you have a bit of snow there, more snow piles up and it keeps getting bigger and bigger like this. Well, until it melts in the spring. And we're kind of looking forward to that already because the banks can't get very much taller before it's impossible to keep moving the snow out of the way and keep the roads open. In fact, some roads are already closed because the banks make it so they just can't be opened and we've had to kind of give up on those ones. Mile after mile, this is the type of thing you see. Little banks like this with the occasional spots where they get much bigger. And if you go here right after a storm, well, you're stuck. Here we are again, we stopped at a corner here in a little different spot to show you the banks and they don't look that big until again, you put the travels of Bill Van beside them and you start to see just how big they are. In fact, you know how big a stop sign is, right? Well, there's the stop sign barely peeking out of the snow banks and at many corners now, the stop signs don't even show at all because there's so much snow piled up. It gets worse at the corners too, as you can imagine, because it's blowing in from all four directions instead of just a two way road like we saw a little earlier on. In any case, there's snow. Come spring, this will all melt and there'll probably be some flooding. We'll have to get some pictures of that for you as well. Now, when you're seeing all the snow, you think they must live in igloos here their whole lives. But I did want to take a moment and show you what the same area looks like in the summertime. Just as a reminder that this is a beautiful part of the world and it doesn't always have that much snow. So here we are back in the summer, some canola blooming yellow in the fields. It looks amazing, doesn't it? And it's hard to believe you can have as much snow as we do now on top of this beautiful farmland. But every winter, it happens. The last couple of years, not so bad. But if you go back a few years before that, the snowbank's about the same size. Well, that's it for this episode of Travels with Bill. Hit that subscribe button in case we do get some good spring flooding. We'll make sure to show that to you on a future episode.